Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos. Hey everybody, Linus here. In the digital age, cybersecurity is more important than ever. Criminals are always coming up with new ways to exploit systems and steal data, so we have to constantly be one step ahead. One of the most common and devastating attacks is the DDoS attack, which can cripple businesses and even take down entire websites. But fear not, because in this video, we're going to explore the world of Kali Linux and the powerful DDoS tools it offers for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Understanding how these tools work is essential for anyone looking to build a career in cybersecurity. So, buckle up, smash that like button and let's get started. First up we have LOIC, the Low Orbit Ion Cannon. This tool is a classic in the world of DDoS testing and is known for its simplicity and ease of use. LOIC works by flooding a target server with TCP, UDP, or HTTP requests, overwhelming it with traffic and potentially causing it to crash. Now, while LOIC is a powerful tool, it's important to remember that using it against targets without their permission is illegal and unethical. One of the key features of LOIC is its user-friendly interface, even if you're new to cybersecurity, you can easily figure out how to use this tool. It has a simple GUI with options to set the target IP address, port, attack method, and attack speed. This makes it easy to customize the attack based on your specific needs. Another thing that makes LOIC so popular is its availability. It's an open source tool, which means it's free to download and use. You can find LOIC in the Kali Linux repositories, or you can download it directly from the developer's website. And because it's open source, you can even modify the source code to suit your specific needs. However, it's important to note that LOIC's simplicity is also its weakness. Because it's so easy to use, it's often used by amateur attackers who don't fully understand the implications of their actions. Additionally, LOIC attacks are relatively easy to mitigate, as they typically don't involve any sophisticated techniques to bypass security measures. Despite its limitations, LOIC remains a popular choice for ethical hackers and security professionals who need a quick and easy way to test the resilience of their networks against DDoS attacks. When using LOIC, it's crucial to do so in a controlled environment, such as a lab setting or on your own network. Never use LOIC against targets without their explicit permission, as this could have serious legal consequences. In the next chapter, we'll be exploring another popular DDoS tool called HOIC, the High Orbit Ion Cannon. All right, moving on to HOISI, the High Orbit Ion Cannon. Now, if LOIC is the pistol of DDoS tools, HOIC is like bringing in the big guns. This bad boy is designed to launch more powerful and sophisticated attacks, making it a favorite among ethical hackers and unfortunately malicious actors as well. So how does HOIC crank things up a notch? Well, unlike LOIC, which relies on a single machine to generate traffic, HOSC can leverage the power of multiple computers to launch a distributed attack. This means you can recruit a botnet of devices, each firing off requests to the target server, resulting in a much larger and more difficult to mitigate DDoS attack. But HOIC's power doesn't stop there. It also boasts an arsenal of advanced features, including the ability to spoof IP addresses, making it harder to trace the attack back to its source. Plus, it offers various attack methods like HTTP GET and POST floods, allowing you to target specific server vulnerabilities. Now, while Hoichi's capabilities might sound intimidating, it's important to remember that with great power comes great responsibility. Using Hoichi against targets without their consent is illegal and can land you in some serious hot water. However, in the hands of ethical hackers and security professionals, HOIC can be an invaluable tool for testing the resilience of networks and applications against large-scale DDoS attacks. By simulating real-world attack scenarios, organizations can identify vulnerabilities and implement appropriate mitigation strategies to protect their systems. One of the key advantages of HOIC is its ability to generate a massive amount of traffic in a short period. This makes it an effective tool for testing the load-bearing capacity of servers and networks, as well as for evaluating the effectiveness of DDoS mitigation techniques. Overall, HOSI is a powerful and versatile DDoS testing tool that can be used for both ethical hacking and malicious purposes. Chapter 3. Slow Loris, the Slow and Silent Killer Now let's switch gears and talk about Slow Loris, a DDoS tool that takes a more subtle approach to wreaking havoc. Unlike LOIC and HOIC, which aim to overwhelm a server with sheer volume, Slow Loris is all about stealth and cunning, slowly chipping away at a target's resources until it crumbles. 
Imagine a thousand zombies not sprinting towards you, but slowly shuffling, arms outstretched. That's slow Loris. It works by establishing a ton of partial HTTP connections to a target server and then keeping those connections open for as long as possible. These half-open connections tie up the server's resources, preventing it from responding to legitimate requests from actual users. The beauty of Slow Loris lies in its subtlety. Since it doesn't rely on flooding the server with massive amounts of traffic, it can often fly under the radar of traditional DDoS mitigation techniques. It's like death by a thousand paper cuts, slowly draining the server's life force until it can no longer function. But don't let its slow and steady approach fool you. Slow Loris can be just as devastating as its more aggressive counterparts. It's particularly effective against web servers, especially those with limited resources or poor configuration. By exploiting vulnerabilities in the way servers handle HTTP connections, Slow Loris can bring even a well-protected website to its knees. Of course, like any tool on our list, using Slow Loris against targets without their permission is a big no-no. But for ethical hackers and security professionals, it's an invaluable tool for testing the resilience of web servers against low-bandwidth DDoS attacks. By simulating a slow Loris attack, organizations can identify weaknesses in their server configurations and implement appropriate countermeasures to protect against this insidious threat. One of the key advantages of slow Loris is that it can be difficult to detect and mitigate. Because it uses a low volume of traffic, it may not trigger traditional DDoS protection mechanisms. However, there are ways to mitigate slow Loris attacks. One common method is to limit the number of concurrent connections that a server will accept from a single IP address. Chapter 4 XOX, the DDoS Swiss Army Knife. All right, let's talk about XOX, a tool that's like the Swiss Army Knife of DDoS attacks. This bad boy is incredibly versatile, allowing you to craft custom tailored attacks to target specific vulnerabilities in a server or network. If you're looking for a tool that gives you granular control over every aspect of your DDoS testing, XOIS is your go-to weapon of choice. So what makes XOIS so special? Well, unlike some of the other tools we've covered, which focus on specific attack vectors, XOIS allows you to create your own attack payloads using a simple command line interface. This means you can craft packets with specific flags, options, and data, giving you pinpoint accuracy in your DDoS testing. Need to test your firewall's ability to handle fragmented packets? Exoic can do that. Want to see how your intrusion detection system responds to a flood of SYN packets with bogus IP addresses? Exoic has got you covered. The possibilities are practically endless, making it a favorite among ethical hackers who need a flexible and customizable DDoS testing tool. But with great power comes great responsibility, and Zoic is no exception. In the wrong hands, this tool can be used to launch devastating attacks that can cripple businesses and disrupt critical infrastructure. That's why it's crucial to use Zoic only for ethical hacking and responsible security testing purposes. For security professionals, Zoic is an invaluable tool for conducting in-depth security audits and penetration tests. By crafting custom attack payloads, they can simulate a wide range of DDoS attack scenarios and evaluate the effectiveness of their security controls. XOH, when used responsibly, can play a crucial role in making the digital world a safer place. Chapter 5. GoldenEye, HTTP Mayhem Last but not least, we have GoldenEye, a tool that's specifically designed to test the resilience of web servers against HTTP denial of service attacks. If you're looking to see how your website holds up under pressure, GoldenEye is the tool for the job. GoldenEye works by flooding a target web server with a barrage of HTTP requests, mimicking a surge in legitimate traffic. This flood of requests can overwhelm the server, causing it to slow down or even crash, preventing legitimate users from accessing the website. What sets GoldenEye apart is its ability to simulate realistic traffic patterns. It can randomize user agents, referrers, and other HTTP headers, making it harder for security systems to distinguish between legitimate traffic and a golden eye attack. Now, before you unleash the power of golden eye on your own website, it's important to remember that this tool should only be used for ethical hacking and responsible security testing. For ethical hackers and security professionals, golden eye is a valuable tool for assessing the effectiveness of web server security configurations and DDoS mitigation techniques. By simulating realistic HTTP flood attacks, Organizations can identify vulnerabilities and fine-tune their defenses to withstand real-world attacks. Outro use your powers for good. 
So there you have it, folks, a rundown of some of the most popular and powerful DDoS tools available in Kali Linux. Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful and can cause serious damage if used improperly. It's crucial to use them responsibly and ethically, only targeting systems that you have permission to test. If you're interested in learning more about cybersecurity, ethical hacking, and how to protect yourself and your organization from attacks, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching.